Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mick from Camera Bits here with a demonstration video on using Photo Mechanic. Uh, this time around, we're gonna be talking copyright. We're going to be using Photo Mechanic to help you fill out the form on the United States Copyright Office form that you need to provide when you register photos there. Uh, obviously, these instructions are for the United States. Uh, if you are not in the United States, the processes and rules in your country may vary. Uh, it's well established that you should be copywriting your photos for reasons many photographers have already gone over in other videos. Uh, I'm not going to really talk about that. I'm just going to show you uh, how to use Photo Mechanic to help you fill out the form. Let's go to the web now and take a look at the United States Copyright Office website. We are going to be registering some photographs. We're going to be registering a group of photographs. Uh, the Copyright Office allows you to register up to 750 photos uh, if you uh, provide all the information, pay the required fee, and upload a copy of each of the works. So let's uh, just click this here. And I'm going to, for this demonstration, just do unpublished photographs. As I said, you can register up to 750 photographs, but you do need to fill out the form. And here they have, it says you are strongly encouraged to use the title template. Um, and they have a link here. And th what this is, is an Excel spreadsheet. Let's take a look. This is what the Copyright Office has provided. It is an Excel spreadsheet with columns for title of photograph required and file name of photograph required. Obviously, if you're going to do this for a large group of photos, up to 750, filling this out can be a bit of a chore, but we can use Photo Mechanic to help with this. Let's go back into PM. Say I wanted to, say I have a group of photographs here that I want to copyright. Uh, let's take a look at some of the metadata here. I do have title information for most of my photographs. Um, and a side note here, I've customized my IPTC info pane here to actually show the title as the t at the top. Um, I think it defaults down into um, other, down lower down in the screen. So it may look different on your installation of Photo Mechanic, but I've gone into Photo Mechanic preferences um, under accessibility and I've customized the IPTC info screen to have the title slash object name up at the top. So that's why this looks the way it does. So I'm gonna be creating a text list with all these titles corresponding with all these file names so that I can fill out this form a little, fill out the copyright form a little bit quicker. So how am I gonna do that? Let's select all these photos. So I wanna create a text list from all the uh, photos in this contact sheet. Let's go to File and Export. In the exporter, uh, we're gonna choose the text exporter choice. There's a lot of different choices here, but we're gonna do text export. And what this is going to do is going to create a text file with metadata from all the selected files in my contact sheet. I'm gonna have a header line here and I've actually filled this out already. I just had a title header and then I put in, in curly brackets tab. Uh, what I'm gonna do is create a tab separated value file that Excel can read. So I'm gonna put the title and then a second column for the file name and put tab in between them. That's the header. And then each of the lines is going to have the variable for the title slash object name, which is object in curly brackets, then the separator tab in curly brackets, and then the variable for the file name. Uh, there are help articles on our help site, docs.docs.camerabits.com in using variables, but this is one use of them. Uh, if you come down here and click on variables, there's a whole list of what variables are available to you. So what this is going to do, just to recap, is gonna create a text file with this header line, with, and then lines in the file that have the object, which is the title of the file, a tab to separate them, and then the, the actual file name. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's export this and let's call it, oh, I don't know, copyright .tsv. And remember, I'm using tabs. I could do this with commas, but I actually have commas in some of the titles of my photographs, so it gets a little messy. Uh, so I'm gonna do a TSV, let's save this here. And we'll go back into Finder. Here it is, Copyright TSV. Let's open this in Excel and take a look at it. There we go. Here is, uh, it's created a whole spreadsheet with title and file name. All the titles, all the file names automatically filled out there. Now I can just copy these and I could paste them into the Copyright Office spreadsheet here. So that might save you um, a few minutes, a few hours, depending on how many photographs you wanted to register. And then you would have this um, form done. You could save it and go back to the um, Copyright Office and end up completing the application. 
All right, I hope this was helpful. Like I said, copywriting your photos is not the easiest process in the world, uh, but Photo Mechanic can maybe help make it a little bit easier. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again next time.